This is the NBC University Theater, bringing you a full-hour dramatization of one of the most memorable works in modern American fiction, The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, starring Jane Darwell in her Academy Award-winning role, Ma Jones. Dust came and covered the earth. In the red country and part of the gray country of Oklahoma, the dust rose from the fields and sifted down from the sky. It settled on the ruined corn, piled up on the tops of fence posts and on the wires. Dust settled on roofs, blanketed the weeds and trees. Quietly it fell like pollen on chairs and tables, on the dishes. Dawn came, but no day. In the morning, the dust hung like fog, and the dim sun was red as ripe new blood. Every living thing lifted the dust into the air. A walking man lifted a thin layer as high as his waist, and behind the truck boiled a choking cloud. Oh, thanks, buddy, for giving me the lift. My dogs was pooped out. You, uh, going somewhere to look for a job? No, my old man's got a place. Forty acres. He's a cropper. Forty acre cropper and he ain't been dusted out and he ain't been tractored out? Of course, I ain't heard lately. No, I guess you ain't. Cropper's gone fast now. One cat takes and shoves ten families out. You, uh... You been doing a job? Sure have. Thought so. Seen your hands. Been swinging a pick or an axe or a sledge. That shines up your hands. I notice all stuff like that. Take a pride in it. Like to know anything else, buddy? I'll tell you, you ain't got a guess. Well, now, don't get sore. I wasn't getting nosy. I'll tell you anything. My name's Jode. Tom Jode. My old man is old Tom Jode. Well, now, don't get sore. I, I didn't mean nothing. I train my mind all the time. Now, suppose I pass a guy on the road. I look at him. After I'm passed, I try to remember everything about him. Just make a whole picture in my head. You'd be surprised how much a guy can remember. Sometimes I think I ought to take a course to be a fingerprint expert. Fingerprint expert? <laughs> yeah, you sure took a long time to get to it, buddy. <laughs> get to what? How do you mean? Why, you had that big old nose of yours going over me like a sheep in a vegetable patch. Oh, now, now, friend, you you got me all wrong. I, I mind my own yard. Well, Tom Joad ain't a guy to let you down. I've been doing time, mister. You've been do- I was up in the pen of McAllister. Okay. Now you want to know what I've done time for, don't you? Oh, no, no, that, 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 that ain't none of my affair. Homicide. That's a big word. Means I killed a guy. He stuck a knife in me, and I whopped him with a shovel. Seven years. I'm sprung in four for keeping my nose clean. Now, if you don't mind, mister, you can stop and spring me out of this lousy truck. This here is where I get off. Okay, buddy. Thanks for the lift, and so long. The side road was cut with furrows where dust had slid and settled back into the wheel tracks. And it spurted up like flour over the new yellow shoes. Ahead, a scrawny, dusty willow tree cast a speckled shade over a man sitting against the trunk. Well, I'll be doggone. Why, you're Jim Casey, ain't you? Well, Tom (laughs) Joe. Well, Preacher Casey. Well, I was a preacher. A burning busher. Yeah? Grandma always said you was a great one against sin. Well, I was against sin. But then I got to thinking, and I decided there ain't no sin. Well, she'll be sorry to hear that. I'm going home. Going to see the family. Yeah, the funny thing. I ain't seen your folks in a bug's age, Tom. I was just thinking I ought to call in on them sometime. Well, come along with me, then. They'll be glad to see you, Casey.
Hey, Casey. Yeah. Look. Look at that house. She's all pushed out of shape. And the well's plowed over. Something's wrong, Casey. They're gone. Well, Ma's dead. Yeah. Let's go look in the house. Doors knocked off the hinges. No, they're gone. Or dead. Wait a minute. Huh? What's the matter? There's someone in there. All right, who is it? Come on out. I ain't doing nothing. What? Well, it's Muley. You know him, Tom. Muley Graves. Well, I'll be... It's Tommy Jode. When did you get out, Tommy? Two days ago. Hitchhike home and... Look what I find. Where's my folks, Muley? What's the house all smashed up for and cotton planted in the door yard? The bank come and kicked him out. What? But why? Why are they kicking folks off the land? Them dirty so-and-sos. You know what kind of years we've been having. Dust coming up in a spile and everything so a man didn't get a crop. Well, the bank says, the share a tenant gets is just a margin of profit we can't afford to lose. So they tracked it all the tenants right off of the land. Where's my folks? Why, they got them a truck and then they all piled in it. Your pa and ma and grandpa and grandma and young Winfield. And Rosa Sharn and Connie. Connie? Connie, who's he? Why, Connie Rivers. That's your sister's husband. Well, I'll be doggone. So Rosa Sharn grew up and got herself married. She sure did. She's going to have a baby, too. Huh? They're all over at your Uncle John's getting ready to shove on west. Everybody's lost their land. Everybody's homeless now. I got her. If ever a man got a dose of the spirit, I got her. Maybe, maybe there's a place for a preacher. I'm going with him. And when folks are on the road, I'm going to be with him. Oh, the spirit's coming back to me now. Everybody, Tom's come home. Tom, boy, will you? Ma. Oh, thank God. Thank God. It's good to be home, Ma. Oh, I'm so glad to have you back, son. Uh, just look at him. A genuine jailbird. <laughs> yes, sir, Tommy. You're a sight for sore eyes. Well, you look fine, Grandpa. How you keeping yourself, you old devil? <laughs> Me? Just full of fuss and vinegar. Oh, either <laughs> Cussner man never lived. He's going to perdition on a poker. Oh, how are yeah. you, Grandma? <laughs> oh, can't complain, praise the Lord. Pa and Rosa, Sharn and Connie ain't here. They went to town to sell the furniture so we can go to California. Oh, Tommy, things are changing and happening so fast here that I can't even keep track of them. <laughs> I know they'd never keep you in jail. Not a real joke. I'll bet you bust out like a bull. <laughs> you ain't wanted, are you, Tom? You didn't bust loose. No, Ma. No, I got parole. Three years off for good behavior. I gotta know, Tommy. You ain't mad, are you? How do you mean, Ma, mad? You ain't poison mad from being in there. You don't hate nobody, do you? They didn't do nothing in that jail to rot you out with crazy mad. No, Ma. No, I let stuff run off in me. I knowed pretty boy Floyd. I knowed his ma, too. He was a good boy, but they hurt him, and he went mad mean. And finally they had to run him down and kill him. Well, you don't have to worry none, Mom. I ain't like that. Well, we come mighty near to going without you. I've been a-praying for this, that we could keep the family all together. Uh, yeah. I like to think how nice it's going to be in California. Never cold and high wages and fruit every place and living in nice little white houses among the orange trees. Seems too nice almost. <laughs> 
Well, don't roost your faith bird high, and you won't do no crawling with the worms. That's scripture, ain't it? Well, anyway, we're going, Tom. Ma. Ma, I'm on parole. I can't leave the state. If they caught me, they'd send me back. Why? You mean... You mean you ain't a-coming, Tom? You ain't a-going with us? Well, Ma, what's eating on you? Why are you so worried about the family? Well, what else we got left in the world? Nothing but us. We're like a bunch of cows when the wolves are ranging. We got to stick all together. We can't let nothing bust up the folks. All right. All right, just just stop fretting now, Ma. I guess they won't catch me if I can just stay out of trouble. I guess I'll be coming along. It's the truck. Pa's back from town with Rosa Shard and Connie. Pa, look who just came home. Tom, boy. Tom. I'm glad to see you, Pa. And Rosa Shard. Why, you're all grown up. <gasps> Tom. Oh, oh, Tom. This is Connie, my husband. Howdy, Tom. Howdy. Pa, the truck's bare. You sold the furniture all right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How much did you get? $18. Only eighteen dollars for everything we had. They were some city fellas. Said it was just junk. Couldn't offer me more than eighteen dollars for all the things I sweated for all my life. I swear I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, it's all right, Pa. At least now we're free. We can start for California. We got nothing to hold us here any longer. <laughs> Highway 66 is the path of a people in flight. Refugees from dust and shrinking land, from the thunder of tractors and shrinking ownership. Highway 66, a concrete runway to the promised land. If and only we can get to California where the oranges grow before this old jug blows up. If only we can, Roshan. Oh, Connie, maybe we can have a, a place of our own. Oh, nothing fancy, but we want it nice for the baby. Yeah. Yeah, a nice little place and an electric iron for the baby's stuff. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm going to study. Electricity. You are? Yeah, Rose, I'm, I'm going to send away for one of them home study courses and get to be an electrical expert. Oh. Yeah. If only we can get to California. <laughs> Yeah, we we got to get a tire, but Mr. Four Dollars is an awful lot for an old tire like that. Well, take it or leave it. I ain't in business for my health. Well, all right. Open her up. Let's take a look at the casing. Why, you dirty... S you said the casing was good. She's broke almost through. It is? Well, by George, how come I didn't see that? You did see it, you lying buzzard. Four bucks for a busted casing. I'd like to take a sock at you. I'll keep your shirt on. I'm just trying to do business. Yeah? If I go steal that tire, I'm a thief. But you try to steal my four bucks for a busted casing, and that's good business, huh? Well, you can keep your lousy tire. You think you can make it to the next town on that old one? Mister, I'd go on a rim before I paid you a dime. Tom... Yeah, Ma? You gotta pull over. Pull over and stop. Grandpa's sick. Well, what are we stopping for, Tom? Ma says Grandpa's sick. No, he ain't sick. He's just a sulking. I've seen him like this before. Pa, what's the matter with you? I, I... Hey, he must be good and sick. He ain't never done that before. Never seen him blubbering in my life. He's... he's sick bad, you think? Pretty bad, Grandma. We better stop for a while and let him rest. Oh, Lord, this here is William James Joad. He died of a stroke. Old, old man. His folks are burying him here in one of your fields because they don't have $40 to pay for a funeral. And I ain't gonna pray for a fellow that's dead. 
He didn't die tonight. He died the minute we took him off the old place. He's just staying with the land. He couldn't leave it. Now, he's going to be all right. And if I was to pray, it'd be for the folks still living that don't know which way to turn. So now, let's cover him up. Amen. Along 66, the hamburger stands where the truck drivers eat. Al and Susie's place. Carl's lunch. The blousy blonde waitress leaning across the counter. Hi, what's new on the road, Bill? Yeah, nothing but jalopies. People going west, I've never seen so many. It's worse all the time. Yeah, I wonder where they all go to. Come here for gas sometimes. People say they steal, but they never stole nothing from us. Uh, yeah? <laughs> You better tie your stuff down. I think you got some of them coming now. Yeah. Oh, kid and his old man. You stay close to me, Winfield. Excuse me, ma'am. Could you see your way to sell us a loaf of bread? Well, there's any grocery store, mister. We sell bread. We're going to run out. We're hungry. Well, then why don't you buy a sandwich? We got nice hamburgers. We'd sure admire to do that, ma'am, but we got to make a dime do for all of us. Oh, you can't get no loaf of bread for a dime. We only got 15 cent loaves. The love of mud, May. Sell them bread. Won't you? Can't you see a way to cut off 10 cents worth? Well, this here's a 15 cent loaf. May, give them the bread. No, we want to buy 10 cents worth, mister. Oh, all right. It's yours for 10 cents. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Hey, come on now, Winfield. Pa. Hmm? Pa. Yeah, what's up? Oh. Uh, is them penny candies, ma'am? There, them stripy ones. The peppermint six? Hmm. Huh. Oh. Oh, them. Well, well no, that, them's two for a penny. Oh. Well, give me two then, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, take them, son. We thank you, ma'am. Them wasn't two for a cent candy, May. Them was nickel a piece candy. Well, what's that to you? It's my money, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, you're getting soft in your old age. Yeah. You ought to stay tough like us truck drivers. Well, I got to get going. I'm dropping time. Hey. Hey, Bill, wait a minute. You got change back. How long, May? See you next week. Well, how do you like that? A 50-cent tip. Oh. Them truck drivers. Cars rattling by on 66. In the daylight, scuttling like bugs to the westward. And by night, clustering like bugs to shelter in camps at the side of the road. One day closer to the promised land. The highway stretched westward up into the mountains of New Mexico. And then... They came to the desert. What do you think, Ma? Shall we try to cross her tonight? Travel while it's cool? Well, I don't know. Do us good to get a little rest first. Especially Grandma. Oh, we got a bitter road, son. Grandma's getting sicker. She's up there on the truck a pawn for a shovel herself. She ain't been no good since Grandpa died. Nobody to fight with, I guess. Well, there's a deputy ahead. I'll pull up and ask again. Hey, mister. You mind if we stop here a piece? Who's in there? Where'd you come from? Us? Right near Salisaw, Oklahoma. Well, you can't stay here. We aim to cross the desert, mister. You better. If you're here tomorrow this time, I'll run you in. Now, mister, you got a tin button and a gun. Where I come from, you'd keep your voice down, trying to scare women that way. In my country, you'd watch your tongue. Well, you ain't in your country now. You're in our country, and we don't want you Okies settling down here. Okies? Yeah, Okies. And if you're here tomorrow, I'll run you in. The dirty rotten. I should have sucked. Oh, no, 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 Tom. You can't afford to get in no trouble with the police. 
then maybe it's just as well if we do go on tonight. We've got to get Rosa Jean to California before her baby comes. Yeah, but Grandma... Well, I'll go up on top and take care of her. We're running low on money, Tom, and we got to think of the family. No, we'll have to cross the desert tonight. Just get us through fast for Grandma's sake. The engines are boiling. What a place. Well, we gotta get over. Only hope we make it before dawn. Roadblock ahead, Tommy. Hmm? Sign says keep right and stop. Hey, what's this here? Agricultural inspection. We gotta look for any vegetables or seeds. Gotta unload. Unload? Everything? Oh, look, mister. We got a sick old lady up here. We gotta get her to a doctor. We can't wait. You well, you just can't make us wait. Yeah. Well, we gotta look you over. Well, I swear we ain't got anything, and Grandma's awful sick. Look at her. Look. My golly, she is. You swear you got no seeds or fruits or vegetables, no corn, no oranges? Oh, no, I swear it. Mother, go ahead. You can get a doctor in Boston. Go ahead. Well, you got us through, Ma. How's Grandma? You want to head for the doctor? Oh, no, no. She's all right. She's all right. I just wouldn't want to stop there. Fear we couldn't get across. Yeah? I swear, Pa, I don't know what's got into Ma. Yeah. First she says Grandma's sick. Now she says Grandma's all right. I can't figure Ma out. The trip must have wore her brains out. All night long, they bored through the hot desert darkness. And as the dawn came up behind them... The truck crawled into the mountains, then topped to rise. The desert's past. Pa, Winfield, Rosa, Sean, wake up. The desert's past. Uh, uh, what is it, Tom? Oh, look ahead, Pa, look ahead. A green valley as far as the eye can see. Orchards, grain fields, acres, acres of green land for growing things. Lord Almighty. It's California. Where's Ma? I want Ma to see it. Come here, Ma. Come here. What is it, Tommy? You say we are crossed? Look, Ma. California. Oh, thank God. The family's here. Wake up. Wake up, Grandma, to see it. What's the matter, Ma? I wished I could wait and not tell you. I wished it could all be nice. Grandma's bad? Grandma's dead. She died before they stopped us last night. And you've been riding up there with... So that's why you didn't want them to look. I was afraid they wouldn't let us get across. I told Grandma when she was a-dying that we couldn't stop. The family had to get across the desert. County Young Winfield and Rosa Sharon's baby... Golly, Ma. Now she can get buried in a nice green place. Trees around a nice place. She'll get to lay her head down in California. Our dramatization of The Grapes of Wrath, starring Jane Darwell as Ma Jode, continues from Hollywood after a brief pause for station identification. California, the promised land, land of milk and honey. Once it belonged to the Mexicans, and the Americans took it, stole the rich land because they were fierce and hungry men. First, the squatters became owners, and then with time, their children grew up, farms grew larger, and the owners fewer. 
And then it came about that the owners no longer worked on their farms. They farmed on paper, and they forgot the land, the smell, the feel of it, the gnawing, stomach-tearing lust for a rich acre. Remembered only what they had gained by owning it. And so when the Okies came, the landowners hated them because the Okies were fierce and hard, and the owners had grown soft. And perhaps the owners had heard from their grandfathers how easy it is to steal land from a soft man if you are fierce and hungry. It isn't that I don't like people, but these Okies aren't people. Shiftless, no goods who come out here to take what belongs to us. And in the towns, the storekeepers hated the Okies because they had no money to spend. Oh, and there's no shorter path to a storekeeper's contempt. And the laboring people hated the Okies, too, because... Ah, those guys will work for anything. And Oki came into this store the other day and wanted to see the boss about getting a job. Uh, I only get 15 bucks a week, but that buzzard would have took my job for 12. Sure, sure, he's hungry, but I gotta live, too. He's got no right to take the bread right out of my mouth. And the hostility changed the people, made the little towns group and arm as though to repel an invader. We've got to keep these Okies down, keep them moving, don't let them settle, crowd them into the miserable camps called Hoovervilles, and then... All right, you folks, we've got to get out. We just got orders. In half an hour, we set fire to the camp. But mister, there's typhoid down the line. You want to spread it all over? That ain't no worry. we got orders to get you out of here. Now get. Why, you oh, dirty... Oh, no, no, Tom, now. Don't do no good to argue with cops. Come on. we got to get the truck loaded. Man, what a hard-looking outfit. That fellow looked like he wanted to kill you. Connie. Connie. Yeah? What's the matter with you lately? Rosie, if I'd have known California would be like this, I wouldn't have come. Connie, what are you talking about? Sleeping six to a ten. No work and, and dough cakes three times a day. Rosie, I wished I'd stayed home and got me a three-dollar tractor job instead of coming out here for nothing. Well, you ain't giving up, Connie. We gotta have a house. We, we ain't gonna have this baby in no tent. You are going to study, ain't you, Connie? Oh, well, sure. Sure, Rose Shine. When, Connie? Well, as soon as I get on my feet, huh? The word would come whispering, there's work at Shafter. And at Shafter, the people would pile up. 5,000 families frantic for work and only 1,000 jobs. And so the wage would come down to 15 cents an hour for the thousand, and the other 4,000 would come away empty-handed. And a desperate man driving along the roads with his wife and thin children in the back seat could look at fields that lay fallow and covered with weeds. Look at there, Mom. All that land, all gone to jimson weeds. Lord, what I could do with an acre of that. That land's own, that ain't ourn. I could only get a little piece of her. Just a little piece for a garden. It's a crime to let good land like that lie fallow. You know why it's got to lay fallow, don't you, Paul? They got so much food already, they can't sell it at a profit. They got to burn it to keep it off the market. That's why the land's got to lay fallow. Just the same, if I could get a little piece of it... Well, maybe... it ain't yourn, Pa. It ain't going to be yourn. Might as well stop thinking about it. But in the eyes of the hungry, there is a growing wrath. In the souls of the people, the grapes of wrath are filling and growing heavy. Growing heavy for the vintage. Say, something's up, Casey. Let's go see what it is. All right. Yeah, let's ask that fellow there. Hello there. My name's Jode, Tom Jode. This here's my friend, Jim Casey, Preacher Casey. Proud know you, Preacher. How are you? I'm Floyd Knowles. What's up? What's everyone standing around for? Ain't you heard? 
contract is coming down here looking for fruit pickers. Yeah? What's he paying? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Fifteen cents an hour, maybe, if it has to. Maybe only a dime if there's enough men with kids and them kids is hungry. That's stinking. <laughs> you stay out here a little while. If you smell any roses, you come let me smell, too. Well, I ain't gonna take it. I and my folks ain't no sheep. I'm gonna kick the tar out of somebody. Well, looks like you're gonna get the chance. Here comes a contract. Who's that with him? A deputy? Hello there. You men want to work? Larry County. Need a lot of pickers. Sure we want to work. You doing the hiring? Well, I'm contracting the land. What are you paying? Well, can't tell exactly yet. About 30 cents, I guess. Why can't you tell? You took the contract, didn't you? Hey, you're telling me how to run my own business? Well, mister, if we're working for you, it's our business, too. I told you I don't know yet. If you don't know, you've gotten the right to hire me. All right, big mouth. That'll be just about enough out of you. Joe. Hey, Joe. Come here a minute. Yeah? What do you want, Doc? You ever see this guy before, Joe? This fella? What'd he do? Well, he's talking red. Agitating trouble. Uh, seems like I have. Last week when that used car lot was busted into. Seems like I seen this fella hanging around. Yep, I swear it's the same fella. Get in that car. You, you ain't got nothing on him. Listen, bud, there was two fellas hanging around that lot. You just open your trap once more and I'll grab you too. I wasn't even in the state last week. Well, maybe you wanted someplace else. I... To keep your trap shut. No, man, you don't want to listen to these good-for-nothing reds. What you want is work. I can use all of you in Tillera County. Now, who wants to come? Might be a good idea if all you guys went. We're going to clean out this camp. Somebody might get hurt. All right, now, Big Mouse, you get in the car. I ain't a-going. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Get him, deputy! Run for it! He's got no Mister, Mister, don't shoot. You're liable to hit. Trippin', Tom, trippin'. He's shooting wild. Red, dirty shoot. Now, get him, Casey. Well, we've done it, Casey. Oh, he shot a woman. A fella like that ain't got no right to a gun. Where, where'd the other guy go? I don't know, but he'll be back. Tom, Tom, you gotta get out of here. How do I wanna go? They'll fingerprint you. You broke parole. They'll send you back to McAllister. Oh, Lord, I forgot. Casey, how about you? Uh, me? Oh, well, somebody gotta take the blame. I'm all alone. Tom, if you mess in this, your whole family, all your folks are going to get in trouble. Now go. Go quick now before he comes too. Mark. Mark, get packed. Get, get everybody in the truck. we got to get out of here. What for? We ain't done nothing, Tom. Nothing except beat up a cop. Oh, Tom. What were those shots? You didn't kill nobody. No, no, I just sucked them Oh, but you promised, Tom. That's how pretty boy Floyd died. I knew his ma. They hurt him. I'm a trying ma, but you don't want me to crawl with my belly on the ground. Oh, Lord, we got to get out of here quick. Pa, start packing. Rosa Sharn, where's Connie? Rosa Sharn. I don't know. Well, what do you mean you don't know? Why are you talking and acting so funny? What happened to Connie? Why ain't he around? I seen him, ma, this morning, down by the river. So did I. Rosa Sharn, I'm afraid Connie was heading south. No. No, it ain't true. Of course it's true. Connie wasn't no good. Never did nothing. Ah, <laughs> oh, sh- Why? Why have I got a shirt? She run out, didn't he? Now, Pa, Rosa Sharn's gonna have a little fella. And that fella's half Connie. It ain't good for a baby to grow up with folks are saying his pa ain't no good. Better than lying about it. No, it ain't. Make out like he's dead. You wouldn't say no bad things about Connie if he's dead. Come on, Rosa Sharn, we're going. No, I ain't going. I want Connie. I ain't going till he comes back. Oh, no, don't you worry, honey. He'll find us later. Yeah, now we got to think about Tom. I don't care about Tom. I want Connie. Now listen, all of you. How many times have I got to tell you? It ain't just Tom and it ain't just Connie. It's the family we got to think of. There's going to be bad trouble here, and we got to be gone when it comes. <laughs> We just did get away in time, Ma. Look at that sky all lit up red in back of us. Oh, thank the Lord it's behind us. 
Where are we going now, Tom? <sighs> Down south, Ma. But there's no work that way. The crops are all in. That's what the cops all figure. And there's a government camp down there where we can get credit. A fella told me they don't let deputies in there. Oh, Ma, I gotta get away from them. I'm scared I'll kill oh, one. Oh, don't ever say that again, Tom. I done a lot of thinking this night long, and I'm beginning to see more and more what's a-happening to us. Grandpa died, and we buried him in a field. Yeah. Grandpa a pauper, and Grandma too. Now Connie's gone. Tom, I'm depending on you to watch out for the family. Your pa's no good for watching out. He's a foreign man. All this here life is new to him. You're the one. Tom, if you ever go, heaven help us all. I'll do my best, Ma. But you got to have patience, Tom. Just remember, we're the people that live. Why, they ain't going to wipe us out. We take a beating all the time. I know. Maybe that makes us tough. Rich fellas come up and they die. And their kids ain't no good and they die out. But we're the people. We keep a coming. And oh, there's a different time ahead. I sure hope so. Ma, I never heard you talk so much in my life. Wasn't never so much reason. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> this is your tent. Well, now, ain't this just fine? Pa, look how nice and neat everything is. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Well, I got a feeling it's going to be real nice. Well, we got good folks here. <laughs> uh, you're number four sanitary unit. What's that? Oh, uh, shower in the wash tubs. Oh, you got wash tubs? Running water? <laughs> yes, indeed. Hot and cold. Well, praise God. We ain't had hot water since we left home. <laughs> hey, by the way, Mrs. Joe, the ladies' committee are calling you to explain the camp rules. What's the ladies' committee? Well, it's a group of women here in the camp who see that everything's kept neat and clean. You mean them ladies is coming to see me this morning? Well, great day. We got to get ready. Pa, hmm? you get some clean overhauls in the shirt, and then you get in Winfield's ears, scrounge around in his ears until they're red and shining. <laughs> Come on, Winfield. Now, Rosie Sharn, you got to spruce up. Get a clean clean dress and get your hair combed. Why, well, I, I don't feel good. I don't feel like doing nothing without Connie. Now, Rosa Sharn, you get upright. You've just been moping long enough. There's a ladies' committee coming, and the family ain't going to be frawny when they get here. Up to now, there wasn't no chance, but now the family's going to get decent. Are you happy, Ma? Oh, this here's a nice place, Tom. I only hope we can stay. Yeah, if that farmer down the road only keeps on giving me a little work. Well, it's done a world of good for the family, Tom. For Pa and Winfield. Even Rosa Shine. <laughs> she's putting on flesh. Yeah, she's getting mighty tightful now. Ain't gonna be long. <laughs> you look pretty fine yourself, Ma. Uh, oh, yes, son. This here's a nice place. We could be happy here a while. Sit down, Pa. Tom, supper's almost ready. Well, how was the ditch digging today? Today was the last day, Ma. Yeah, the ditch was like Connie. Good for a while, but finished and gone quick. Oh, did you get your pay? Yeah, what there was of it. The fellow had to cut us from 30 cents an hour back to 25. How come, Tom? He had to. Farmers Association told him 30 cents was too high for ditch digging wages. They said high wages caused discontent. <laughs> I never seen nobody content on low wages. Well, then why didn't this fellow tell the association to mind his own business? Because the bank runs the association. And the bank's got a mortgage on this fellow's place. Well, what are we going to do now? Rosa Sharn ain't far from due, and we got six miles to feed with one day's more grease and two days' flour and a handful of potatoes. Well, we got to figure something out to get some money coming in. We've been a-looking, Ma, but 
What's the use of looking for something you ain't going to find? Now, Pa, you ain't got the right to get discouraged. This here family's going under, and you just ain't got the right. Well, then, Ma, I guess we got to go. I met a fella says we might find some work in the peach country. Yeah, but it'd mean leaving this government camp. I know. Oh, it's so nice here. And folks is nice here. I don't want to go. But I ain't watching this here family starve no more. Come time for Rosie Sean to lay in, she's got to be fed up. And if it's peaches we got to pick to save ourselves, well, the sooner we start, the better. Look, Tom, there's a bunch of cars pulled up at the side of the road. Maybe we'd better stop. Say, mister, can you tell us where the peach orchards is? You people looking for work? Oh, we sure are, mister. Looking even under boards. Can you pick peaches? Mister, we can pick anything there is. Okay. That makes six cars now. You all just follow the motorcycle escort there. Okay, Joe. Paul. What's the matter here? Maybe the road's out. Don't need four motorcycle cops to lead us. I don't like it. Tom, the line's turning into that gate up ahead. And look there outside that gate. Looks like a mob of people. Hey, what's going on here? I don't know, but I tell you, I don't like it. They look like our own people. Watch out, Tom. One of them's throwing a brick. Anybody hurt back there? No, Tom, just keep it going. Don't stop. Let's get you folks checked down. You all ready to work? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. But, uh, what's happening back there at the gate? You want to work it, don't you? Sure, we do. Name? Joad. J-O-A-D. How many of you? Uh, two men, two women. And we was hoping the little fella here could help. Sure. As long as he's careful. Five cents a box, no bruised fruits, no windfalls. Okay, you go to work right away. Sleep tonight in, uh, House 63. Mister, is there any hot water there? Hot water. <laughs> what do you folks think you are, the J.P. Morgans? Got any more to eat, Ma? No, that's all. Y'all made a dollar today, and that's a dollar's worth. That? They charge extra out here. Company store. Fine. The whole family sweating its heart out, and it don't even earn us some side meat. Well, I couldn't help it, Pa. I had to get some canned milk for Rosa Shar, and she needs it. Oh, let Winfield have it, Ma. I don't want to drink it anyway. Now, see here. What have I got, a revolution? Don't nobody mind me anymore? Well, this family's getting right out of hand. Now, Rosa Shar, you drink that milk. And Winfield, you skedaddle. Hungry or not, you got all you're going to get. Well, I guess that goes for us, too, Paul. Yeah. I'm going out and take a look around. Yeah, me too. Where are you heading, Tom? There's something funny going on. You think them folks outside was picketing, Paul? Wouldn't surprise me none. Maybe the man brung us in to bust up a strike. Paul, I'm going to sneak over the fence. Well, I guess I can't stop you, Tom. I ain't the head of this family no more. Evening, mister. Nice fire you got there. Yeah. Jim, fellas, come out of the tent. We got a little visitor here. What is it? What's the matter? Well, what do you know? Tom Joe. Casey. Jim Casey, what are you doing here? You know this fellow, Casey? I sure. Knowed him for years. Come out west with him. He's all right. Well, how's the folks, Tom? Oh, all right. We've been a-picking peaches all afternoon, but... Casey, you ain't told me what's going on here. We struck, Tom. We come to work there last week for five cents, but they cut us to two and a half. A fella can't even eat on that. 
If you got kids, well, so we says we won't take it. Now, they're paying you five to bust our strike. But uh, when they do, you think they'll pay five? I don't know. Paying five now. Well, Tom, Tom, tell the folks in there just how it is. Now, you know what two and a half is. That's exactly one ton of peaches picked and carried for a dollar. Now, we can't do it, Tom. Can't get our food for that. We all got to work together. I'll tell him, Casey. Listen. I... Be quiet. Hmm? What is it? What's the matter with you? I don't know. I just feel itchy all over. Seems like I heard something out there in the dark. No. No, you're just jumping. Ain't nobody around. No. No, Casey, he's right. Huh? There is something out there. There they are, boys. Don't let them get away. Cops. Worse than that. Deputies. Come up there, you. Keep the light on them, George. All right. Which one's their leader? This one, Sheriff. The one that calls himself the preacher. All right, then let's get him. Look out, Casey. He's got a quick handle. Yeah. Casey. Sheriff, I, I think he killed him. Yeah, serve the dirty buzzard right. You killed Casey. You killed Casey! Watch it, Sheriff. The other guy's coming at you. Oh, yeah. Ma. Ma, I, I don't feel so good. Well, of course you don't, honey. Nobody ever does. I, I don't mean that, Ma. This is something. Ah! Oh, Sean, what is it? Is it coming? I think so, Ma. It hurts. Did it kind of grab you all over quick? Answer me. Yeah. Yeah, Ma. Coming early. Now, don't you be afraid, Rosa Sharn. You're going to have a nice baby. But you but you got to help me. You feel like you could get up? You ought to be walking around a little, you know. I, I can die, Ma. Oh, there, that's good. Now, just grip your hands, Rosa Sharn. It's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Ma! Ma! Now, Winfield, you skedaddle right out of here. Rosa Sharn's sick. But, Ma! I've just seen Tom, and he's in trouble. Trouble? What kind? Terrible trouble. He's hiding out in the brush down by the river, and some men are hunting to kill him. you got to come quick. Oh, I, I can't. But Tom needs you, Ma. Well, so does Rosa Shine. Yeah, but, but Tom's hurt. Now, Winfield, you just sit quiet. they got to take the biggest thing and whoop it first. And you know what that thing is. Now, you go and tell Tom I'll get to him just as fast as I can. All right now, Winfield, Get. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, are you here? I don't see you. Psst. Here, Ma. Here, down in the brush. Tom, what's the matter? Shh. Don't talk loud. I clubbed a guy, a deputy. Oh, son. You didn't kill him? I don't know. Oh. I tried to for what he'd done to Casey. Ma, Casey's dead. They just smashed him down and I... I guess I went out of my head. Oh, Ma, I didn't know what I was doing no more than when you take a breath. I didn't even know I was going to do it. Well, it's all right. I wish you didn't do it. I wish you hadn't been there. But you done what you had to do, son. And I won't read no fault in you. Anyway, Ma, they're hunting me now. I'm going to go away tonight. I can't go putting this on the family. Now, Tom, there's a whole lot I don't understand. But going away ain't going to ease us. It's going to bear us down. There was the time when we was on the land and all together. There was a boundary to us then. Old folks died off, little fellas come. And we was always one thing. We was the family. Kind of whole and clear. Now we ain't clear no more. We lost Grandma and Grandpa and then Connie. And now you. The family's cracking up town. If you go, there won't be no family. Nothing to hold us together. He's still got Winfield. And when Rosa Sean's baby's born, that ought to help. The baby's come, Tom. It come tonight. Yeah? How oh, is it? It was born dead. Never breathed. Never even had a chance. <laughs> you mean it was starved to death before it was born? 
Casey was right, Ma. That's why we got to fight. Oh, no, Tom. They killed him. They'll drive you out and put you down just like they did him. They're going to drive me anyways. They're driving all of our people. They might hurt you. They might kill you. And I... I wouldn't know, Tom. How am I going to know about you? Maybe it don't matter none. Maybe it's like... Like Casey said, Ma. A fella ain't got a little soul of his own. But only a piece of a big one that belongs with the rest. The family? It has a soul too, Tom. And you're part of it? No. No, Ma, no. I'm... I'm part of something bigger. I'm part of all the people like us. And I'll be with them, Ma. Everywhere you look. Wherever there's a fight so hungry people can eat. Wherever there's a cop beating up a guy. That's where I'll be. Everywhere, Ma. Everywhere. Until somehow things get changed. All right, then, Tom. I won't hold you back. I know you have to go. But, Tom, you got to have patience. Us people, all us people, Tom, we'll go on a living when all them others is gone. Why, Tom, we're the people that live. They ain't going to wipe us out. Never. They ain't even going to wipe out our family now. You'll be a-coming back, and you'll find us. And then, Tom, the dust will be beaten down, and the children won't be a-crying for hunger. We'll be on the land again, a-growing things, and we'll live like decent human beings. And then we'll be a family, Tom, and proud. 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 <laughs> 